By far the easiest way to have paid parking and to make it convenient for you and also just less brain damage is go to the App Store or Google Play and download Passport Parking. And I'll tell you how this all works. So I've already gone to the App Store or Google Play and downloaded Passport Parking. So I'm in my parking spot. I want to go to lunch or something. All I really need to know is what zone I'm in. I'm in zone 781 and the zones differ for the location. I'm in 781, so I'm gonna hit that and then I'll hit continue. Now it's gonna give me my options. Do I want uh, uh, the vehicle that I'm registered or I could have some other vehicles in there. You could have multi vehicles. Now do I want the first 15 minutes for free or do I wanna maybe have lunch and stay for an hour and 15 minutes right there? An hour and 15 minutes, that's gonna be 50 cents. So I've chosen that. I hit next, very simple, and it's, my card is already on record, so I'm just gonna do that, or I could add a card if I chose to as well. Now it's gonna give me a receipt or give me a prompt. Yes, I, I agree to pay that 50 cents for an hour and 15 minutes, and it's gonna let me know how much time I have left. An hour and 14 minutes and 26 seconds. Now, as I go in and have some lunch, if I'm having a good time, I want to spend a little longer, it's going to prompt me about five or ten minutes before my parking has expired. And then what I can do, I can hit session options and extend it or start parking as I leave. So there you have it. It's very simple. Go to the App Store or Google Play to get passport parking, and it makes it a lot more simple. If you can be parking in BREC uh, regularly, that's the way to go. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the highway or in the parking lot.